Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Farah. So today I thought I would discuss um, a topic that I've actually mentioned a little bit on my Instagram before and I was quite shocked to come to find out that so many of you guys, well at least on Instagram, um, kind of dealt with the same things too um, and kind of were suffering from the same things as well and I kind of just didn't realise how common it was to be honest so I just thought it'd be a good idea to make a video on my experiences because I also had a couple of individuals DMing me about kind of how I cope with it and you can probably tell by the title of the video what I'm going to be talking about today and that is PMDD so I believe that stands for premenstrual dysmorphic disorder don't quote me on that I have looked it up before and I think that's what it is, but I'll leave the correction on the screen if I got that completely wrong. Just in case you have no idea what PMDD actually is, it's essentially a more, a very serious version of PMS, which PMS is kind of something that people these days joke about quite a bit. It's kind of the time of the month where, well, obviously the woman's about to get the period, so they get a bit grumpy and... Um, they get a bit snappy and moody and but PMDD is just a, on a whole other level when it comes to PMS your mood swings are just like honestly insane you have dark suicidal thoughts you you basically enter depressive state it's just on a it's a very very dark time typically around 10 days prior to your period starting um well up to 10 days it can last and then like a couple of days into your period and then once you start your period it kind of just like goes away disappears like it never happened so in the same way PMS kind of works but it's just the symptoms are a lot lot worse and actually very damaging and and can be quite dangerous in some instances I've read a lot of stories of women who literally it, it is it's, it's not a nice thing at all but yeah, it's genuinely, it's an issue and it's something very real. And not only do you have like the mental disorder element to it, you also have the extreme pain as well. So PMS, you can get cramps as well. Um, in, in general, girls can get cramps during their period. But this is like debilitating pain, like pain that you literally, you you can't function with you get nauseous like your emotions are so so intense kind of being slightly bipolar like your your moods just like switch like crazy you can read more about the symptoms like in more depth and probably explained a lot better than i have explained them all over the internet really i'll leave some links down below so you guys can check those out and just i don't know get some more information and background on what the disorder actually is um but yeah i just thought i would talk about uh, the disorder, kind of my experiences dealing with it. We could just have an open discussion and I'd also like this to kind of filter through to the comments as well. So if you are someone that is dealing with this or if you're someone that knows someone that's dealing with it and you kind of know of any tips or and just like your experience in general, just leave your kind of thoughts and feelings down below and we can have a discussion about it. Yeah, I don't know what the purpose of this video is really. I just kind of thought it would help to open up a conversation about it I don't know but yeah let me know if you like videos like this give this one a thumbs up if you do subscribe to my channel down below for more videos like this as well I started my period quite early on when I was 12 young years old that's when I got my first period and it was actually really kind of awful because I was one of the first girls in kind of my friendship group or my year group in general um to get it and to make things worse I was the youngest in my year so I was literally the youngest um so yeah it was like quite traumatic <laughs> um yeah it was a struggle but the kind of first I guess memory I have of being on and dealing with it um let me just mention by the way I did not from the like kind of offset have the issues that I have now in relation to my period I did not have that to begin with it, it's kind of something that has developed I think that's the right word but um 
yeah, I'll come on to that a bit later. But the first kind of memory that I have of dealing with my period is when I went on a birthday trip with my friendship group. So this is around 12 or 13 years old. Um, my friend invited our group to Seaside Place on the coast in the UK. And so we stayed at her like relative's house or something like that. And it was really exciting. Like long weekend, I think we went for. And lo and behold, I was on that whole entire time. I didn't know it until we actually got there. So then I essentially had nothing with me, like no pads, no, no nothing. And um, yeah, it was, it was dreadful. <laughs> it was actually dreadful. So I was obviously really young and I didn't know whether the other girls had started or something. It's not really something that we spoke about. And actually, I remember on that trip, we did, like, they were kind of crying and trying to find out who had started or not. And I didn't want to say. I was, like, embarrassed about it. So I didn't tell them. And, um, yeah, so it came on on the trip. And because I had nothing with me, I was too scared to ask anybody. I had a swimming costume with me because we were by the seaside. You know, I just took one in case. So my solution was to put the swimming costume on. Bear in mind, this is one of the first times I actually like came on and I was by myself. Um, so I put the swimming costume on underneath my clothes, thinking that that would, like, I don't know, solve all my problems. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but obviously it just leaked everywhere. It was a disaster. Um, yeah, but yeah, that that was like my very first memory and back then I don't remember having any major symptoms from being on my period I just remember it being a really awkward time which I guess it is for every girl let's be real but um I want to say I feel like I first really started suffering from my period when I was in sixth form I guess or no maybe a bit earlier than that in high school I think when I reached high school, I really started suffering. I used to literally like have panic attacks and almost like faint. I would black out at school because of the pain of my periods. Like that's how bad it was. And I only remember that happening in high school around like 15, 16 years old. At the time, I didn't realise it was in relation to that. And like when you read about it online, PMDD itself, you learn about how essentially you learn about how like cyclic it is and and how it kind of materializes throughout the month in relation to your cycle so you're essentially like up to 10 days before you actually are on you can experience like really really awful things and then just a couple of days into your period as well it lasts and then it kind of fades and it's like nothing ever happened and that is exactly what happens to me like to a T but I never picked up on that while I was in high school or college and I don't it's very hard to see the line between actual like depression and like actual just like mental disorders versus what this is there is a kind of blurred line um between feeling depression and feeling anxiety and feeling all these things and feeling like you're bipolar and like just I'm like crazy but then also suffering from this because of like your hormones during the time that you're experiencing your period so yeah it took me a long time to kind of realize what was just happening in general I have I guess in I don't know how to say it so in university in general I suffered a lot just in general with mental health I guess um I did go to the doctor on a number of occasions I've I've lost count of the number of times I went to see the doctor at uni it was actually a joke um but yeah I did end up being given antidepressants for a while and there was just a whole lot going on that I didn't and because of that it's kind of like well, I was diagnosed with something else, so I didn't really ever consider anything being a anything else being 
a factor of Giovanna me. So I think I only really started to kind of pick up on what was happening with my body when my actual like period pains got to the point where I was physically unable to go to lectures, go to classes, do normal things. I would have to take like an entire day out and just lie in bed and cry and it, it was horrible. What made me realise that it was a huge problem was the fact that I was suffering so badly every single month and it just seemed like everyone around me was fine. As in the girls that obviously they get their period too every month but they were not in any way suffering as much as I was and I was kind of like why are you not in pain? Why are you not like why are you normal kind of thing and that's when it really kind of hit me that something was really wrong. And also, not to mention, you are kind of out of it for a good two weeks out of the month. That's like half of the month. That's half your time being alive. Like, you're, you're just not yourself. But yeah, so when I started looking into what could be wrong that way, like, I was just kind of looking into remedies and things to just stop the pain, stop the, like, mental like honestly I would switch so fast I didn't even I didn't even understand how my brain could physically like move that quickly or just be that I really don't know how to explain it it's just an entire feeling in itself but it's like you feel like you're crazy like you feel like you're actually going crazy and it's a lot to deal with and it's kind of like being sucked into a deep dark black hole and not being able to see yourself get out of it and you just get sucked into that every two weeks of the month and along with all the pain and like I just I felt like I had to kind of try and find some remedy or some something to just at least make the pain go away I could kind of started to be able to manage ish like my mood swings really and my temperament that was also like a massive issue but I always saw that as separate I saw that as like one thing and then my pain is another but actually as time has gone on I've realized how intertwined they are and yeah I think that has been the biggest wake-up call the fact that everything I was feeling and thinking up here is like entirely linked with everything physically and the pain I was feeling well I didn't realize that a lot of people actually go on the pill to get rid of their period basically and because of the fact that they have quite painful periods which I never actually realised because to me the pill was only needed for one thing yeah that was something that I actually started considering more recently and I did speak to my mum quite a lot about it because she sees what kind of state I get into every two weeks essentially and it's not good and it's something that I really need to um, fix something I'm still trying to figure out learn how to fix by the way I haven't I haven't nailed it I haven't kind of found the cure I guess but um yeah I spoke to my mom about it she wasn't like really against me doing it but I, the reason I haven't yet is because basically once I when I was at uni like I said I was at the doctor all the time so when I registered at uni like to my uni's doctor my home doctor essentially kicked me off their thing like their records they just kicked me off so in order for me to get a doctor back home again I have to re-register and I just haven't really found the time to do that which is why it's taken me so long to like sort myself out and actually yeah I haven't been to a doctor about things since I've been home but yeah I, I, I've been dealing with it for so long now and I've kind of gotten to know my body so well and and to be honest the internet is enough a lot of the time these days like I've been to the doctor, it, it's crazy, I, I think one time I went to the doctor with my dad and we literally got asked, have you like googled your symptoms, like has google like brought up any results for you, have you, like what do you think it is, they're asking us what we think the issue is, like hello we came to you for the answer, <laughs> so I just feel like, like obviously like surgeons and stuff that's a whole other story but actually like your GP doctors 99% of the time, okay I'll reduce that just so I don't offend anybody, 90% of the time you can just like figure out what's wrong with you without going to see them I feel. I feel like you only really see them if you kind of know what you need and you obviously like need a prescription or if you don't know what you need or don't know what's wrong but you have very strong serious symptoms and you know you need to get checked out then yeah you go to them. 
But this is something that I've been dealing with for years and it's something that's not killed me yet. <laughs> so it was kind of something that, yeah, it was quite easy to put off because as dark as it was in those like two weeks-ish, um, I came out on the other side and I was normal again. And so it was such a, like a messy cycle of being okay and being really not okay. But like weirdly, I just got used to that. And I just, yeah, it kind of became a routine almost. I was like, right, here it goes again. And it was, it was kind of like an outer body experience almost. Like I just, it just wasn't me. I was just like, my body was getting taken control over for like two weeks, which is quite scary thinking about it. But that's genuinely what it felt like. It was just like, not me. It was not me in that time. And yeah, it it's just come to a point where like, I'm not okay with that being my routine, especially when I know when like the majority of women don't go through that. That's what's like created to me. Like, why do I have to go through that? And it's not necessary. It's not what being on your period is about. It's not what has to happen. Yes, you have to bleed, but all the rest of it, like it doesn't need to be the case. You don't need to actually be in pain. Um, you don't have to like mentally get screwed up and deal with all of that. You just so yeah, I just kind of felt like enough's enough. I need to figure out what the hell's wrong. So along my way of trying to search for remedies and figure out what like I could do to just stop the pain, first of all, um, I came across the PMDD information on that disorder and then I it like basically clicked like everything I read about it, I was like, oh my god, that is literally me. Like I've never read something about a disorder or like a, an illness before that every box I ticked like it was the weirdest thing and it was I was like it was like a light bulb moment like I was like oh my god that's what it is that is my problem like that is what I've been dealing with all this time and I had no idea that it was I had no idea this was even a thing so yeah once I found out then it was kind of like wow okay this is um it's a disorder it's not normal it's definitely something that needs fixing and um yeah the more I read about it the more it kind of everything made sense and everything kind of all the pieces kind of started to fit together and I started just to realize more and more just how like it was not okay being like that like it was just not normal and I needed to find a way to just fix it really. I have to say I do still suffer with it. I'm still kind of, it's kind of a journey I guess to trying to figure out what actually to do about it and how to get rid of this. I do believe it's something that I can just like cure myself from. I don't actually have to be like this. I don't have to feel like literally suicidal every two weeks of the month. Like that's how crazy it is. And I say that like half laughing because I just, obviously in this moment in time, I'm absolutely fine that there's nothing wrong with me. But I know like a week later, like being aware of it really makes me kind of, it puts my mind on a different kind of, like shifts my mindset a bit on the whole thing and makes me realise that I am in control and it's this, this thing in my mind and this thing about me that like messed up and um, that's why it's called a disorder but it's something that I can grab hold of and control and because I'm aware of it I feel like I am because I, I, I'm I guess I understand why things are happening now that I can kind of well I say that it doesn't really get, get to me or affect me as much as it used to it kind of just hits you sometimes and you least expect it and when all those things are going on inside your head and you find yourself in that dark place you kind of don't realize that you're there because it just kind of happens to you and you feel like you're not in control of it and you feel like you you don't you don't feel the progression of like becoming like getting yourself into that hole it kind of just like it's kind of like oh there it is I'm, I'm in it and you kind of feel like you can't get out all over again and it, it's just like the cycle starts again so it's very very hard sometimes to actually even though you know in like deep down you know that it's like a problem and you know it's something that is something that you you are aware of and you understand it and you understand why it's happening but when you're actually in it and when it's like kind of too far gone and it hits you and like you you don't really expect it then that's a whole other story and that's just something that 
it's kind of too late at that point and you really find it hard to kind of pull yourself out until it's just all over like naturally so yeah that is just I guess what I'm dealing with at the moment just riding the wave but also trying to get the wave to back off like, yeah it, it's tough it is it's a lot to deal with and it's a lot for the people around you to deal with let me tell you as well it, I, I always feel so bad for just how I act out and the way I am towards people during that time and I just genuinely I just feel like I can't even control it like I know what I'm doing is bad but I just feel like it's not even me doing it almost it's like something's taken over my body and is just acting out on behalf of me it's crazy but yeah I honestly do feel terribly guilty uh about the way I just treat people the way I am towards people during that time and uh, mainly my family and close friends generally I I feel like I'm pretty good at at disguising it when it comes to work don't feel like people pick up on it although I'm very quiet at work in general and I feel like I just become more in my shell during that time which is if you think about it two weeks out of the month that's two out of four weeks it's half the month that's like literally half the time you are like alive um so yeah it's quite a lot of time so it kind of just becomes your personality almost quite sadly because I'm generally quite a, like a talkative chatty person but I feel like the more this has started to become part of my life and the more it's kind of just progressively got worse as I've gotten older and it's progressively like taken over my life as I've gotten older and it's like taken my personality away with it as well because I suffer from it so often that during the time that I'm free and myself it's like I'm worried about it coming back and I spend that other two weeks like recovering from what I just went through so I don't really have a time where I'm like just me again if that makes sense like I just become this really angry mean irritable like mess of a person um I'm upset all the time I'm tired all the time I'm angry all the time I don't want to be around people like at all yeah it's 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 a problem and it, it's not good at all but yeah that's just <laughs> that, that, that's just what this this whole thing is that's that's what you deal with when you go through it I guess so yeah that where I'm at now is kind of I've been on a journey where I've been diagnosed with things in the past and I've been to doctors to figure out what's wrong with me like mentally um I've been to doctors to figure out why the hell my stomach is like always a mess and yeah I finally kind of figured out why on my own and the reason for all of this is PMDD and I've realized that it, that is exactly what is going on in my body and why I'm the way I am so now that I've figured that out I'm gonna just get the stage of like trying to stop it and put an end to it and just like try to figure out what it is like the root cause so that I can just overcome it altogether in general because I'm tired and and I was not always like this so it so I know there is a way out and I know there is a way to get rid of it because it hasn't always been here it's not something I was born with so it's not something that I have to live with for the rest of my life either and there's plenty of women that don't deal with these extreme versions of PMS and there's no reason why I should too so I'm kind of just at the stage of trying to figure out how to get rid of it um, quite frankly I haven't really found the answer like I mentioned the whole um going on the pill situation is not something that I've really I've confirmed in my mind that I want to do because even though I know a lot of people who say it's amazing and it's helped them so much and they don't know what they would do if they weren't on it and it's like the best thing ever I know a lot of horror stories about it as well and if you get the wrong one how bad things can get um and I've already experienced that so I don't want to yeah I just I don't want to put myself in that position if you know what I mean so yeah it's it's a lot to think about um and at the moment that's like kind of the only option I feel like is on the table so I kind of really wanted to put this video out there to talk to you guys about it and also just get your thoughts on it and if you're suffering from it or if you've suffered from it previously and no longer do how or what did you do because I really need some tips and I just 
yeah I, I just guess I don't know what to do at this stage um I guess I've come a long way in the fact they actually know what's wrong now a lot of it I feel like is to do with the mindset as well I have noticed this, the months that I am more stressed and worked up and in general and just like before my period even comes if I've just had a really bad time and have been really down in general it tends to hit me harder versus the times that I've been really just like really upbeat a lot's been going on I've been quite busy but in a good way a lot of good things have been happening it tends generally it doesn't hit me that hard I don't suffer that badly from it so it is kind of like a bit of a yo-yo like it's not I don't know more often than not it is pretty bad to be fair so yeah I don't I'm, I'm struggling because as much as like you guys all know if you follow me on Instagram I'm all about like positive vibes I'm all about like having a positive mindset I really believe in the law of attraction all of that so someone that believes in all of that and really part of my daily routine is to just try and like be grateful for things and like just keep in my mind like to keep the positive energy going and you know just to live a positive lifestyle to deal with something like this is kind of like I thought I was doing well you know why is this happening and I kind of feel like it is to do with my mindset and the way I feel about things and it's manifesting into like a physical issue in my body uh, did I just make that up do you know what I mean like is it just it just is it just down to hormones like a chemical situation that has got nothing to do with my mindset I, I literally don't know I don't know so it's all just thoughts I guess in my head and I'm really sorry if none of that made sense this was kind of a really rambly video I did not plan this at all but I just knew it was something I've I've been wanting to talk about for a while because it's something that I've been suffering from and then I kind of realised that a lot of you guys have been suffering from it as well. So yeah, and it's, yeah, it's something that I just, I kind of want to talk more about just to kind of figure out what it is and in a way get help, I guess, just because I'm still figuring out how to deal with it. Like I got asked the other day, how do I cope? And honestly, I, I was literally like, I don't, <laughs> I don't cope. I just let it do its thing. I'm, I get my hot water bottle and that cures, it doesn't cure my cramps, but it's like the best thing ever having a hot water bottle. I, I wouldn't be able to survive without one during that time, honestly. Like it, it comforts me, but it doesn't get rid of the cramps so much. Um, Mental side of things, I literally just like, I'll, I'll cry myself to sleep nights on end like well it feels like nights on end like a week or something um yeah it gets real real depressing but I I just let it happen if that makes sense like I don't fight it I just like I, I guess it's got to the point where I'm so used to it happening now and I don't know how to stop it I don't know how to stop feeling like that I just feel like I'm not in control of my entire being in that moment in time so it's kind of hard to be like tell myself to snap out of it yeah yeah it's it's really tough so in all honesty I don't deal with it because I just I just let it happen and I kind of like let it take over really for that amount of time which is not good and it's not something I want to carry on doing because I want my life back like it kind of takes over your life yeah maybe I should just go to the doctor I guess the thing is I don't want to just be shoved a bunch of medication and then be like yeah that'll sort you out I don't want that which is why I'm also like hesitant to go to the doctor I don't want meds for it I do believe that a lot of things can be cured without medicine medicine doesn't a lot of the time just like painkillers it doesn't cure the pain it just kind of like shuts off the receptors in your brain so that you don't feel it for a little bit then it does come back later like painkillers don't like feel, like get rid of pain um and I feel like the same way with any other medication it is it's just not it's not going to be a final like even with the pill it's not it's not going to solve my problem I don't feel it'll eliminate it for that period of time maybe hopefully if I get the right one yeah I just I don't feel like medicine is what I need 
but then I don't know what I need so maybe maybe it is I don't, yeah I literally don't know I'm just kind of I'm intrigued to see or like hear everyone like other people's stories um there is not a lot online in terms of like personal experiences about PMDD in general it's it's a lot more common than you would think but then at the same time it's not that much of a common thing like as in it's not commonly talked about it's not but people don't realize that they have it if that makes sense like you often get diagnosed with depression or anxiety or other disorders um when actually it's this and just people don't realize um and even if they do realize people just I guess don't talk about it because it's a very I guess periods in general are quite taboo so to talk about periods and mental health in one that is yeah that's kind of a lot for people to deal with I think so it just doesn't really happen very often so I kind of for that reason wanted to open the conversation here um and I, I kind of hope that this video helps some of you make you realize that if you are suffering from it then you're really not alone like I might seem like quite I don't know like smiley or um trying to be a bit more light-hearted in this video about it but I do genuinely know the seriousness of it and I I first-hand experience it so um yeah I just want you to know that you yeah you're not alone and I yeah it's it's not a nice thing at all but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I don't really know if this helped if this was a bit of a waste of time let me know what you think in the comments down below as well if you'd like me to discuss this again and maybe answer some of your questions on it or like just if you guys have any other ideas of what we can kind of talk about together on this topic things like that or if I do end up finding something that really works for me that helps me definitely share it with you guys and um, if that's something that you want to know um but yeah other than that guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in my next one bye guys